Okay, so uh, so today I'm to send the 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 the, the work is for uh, saving more life through a better healthcare management. My name is uh, uh, Eric Wong. So I'm an associate professor at the Department of Electronic Engineers at TU, and here's my uh, email address. You can see. Okay, so. Um, Okay, here's the auto overview. Okay, so here's the, you have a exciting opportunity to use your engineer or uh, science knowledge and know how to directly impact humanity and quality of life, especially during the COVID-19 pandemics. Okay, so you uh, will uh, uh, be working with a dynamic group of uh, research engineer or scientist in cooperate with a medical team, uh, medical doctor. So on what, on the application of the uh, modern modeling and control method to better understanding epidemiological uh, um, process from a physical and engineer, engineer uh, a system engineering uh, perspectives. And also on the use of modern discrete event simulation and echo um, method and software to optimize the use of scale in intensive and critical care resources. This is the, the background. Okay. So, and here, okay, actually our CTU uh, E team are fully supported by the Hong Kong uh, Hospital Authority Coordination Committee of uh, intensive care. In particular, we uh, work closely with uh, seven medical doctors who represent the entire Hong Kong ICU hospital network. Therefore, our work could have a direct impact on the design and operation of a city-wide healthcare systems for metropolitan city, such as Hong Kong, New York City, London, Beijing, or Tokyo. And and so on. So, and we are currently receive a number of uh, funding from Hong Kong uh, government. Okay, so beside the medical doctor, you can see the name and uh, the hospital here. Okay, well, our team also include scientists or engineer in or outside our department. Okay, for example, Professor um, Wang Yun Chen or Wang Chen. So with the expert in complex network and control and Professor Michael Chair with expert in uh, pandemic model and Professor Moses Sukerman uh, expert in, in um, queuing theory and uh, Professor uh, uh, Andrew Lern, uh, with expert in AI and machine learning or outsider. So okay, or Professor uh, Michael Wenmei and from uh, South Africa with expertise in the complex lemma and so on. So therefore, joining our team, you can solve important realistic problems through a set of a diverse and useful skill set, which is you learn from arts. Okay. And our project have a very, a very good balance between a practice and, and theoretical, okay, a theory. So now I will mention a bit about our current uh, funded uh, project such that you have a, a better uh, idea on what our team are doing. And we see, receive uh, this kind of funding from the government. I mean, the, the uh, healthcare medical research fund and also general research fund in Hong Kong. In general mean that our research have both fundamental and applied value. And it also means that uh, we can support you to go to international conferences and you can also work with us after your PhD graduation. If you like to continue working with us for some period of time and want to learn more from our team, uh, from our research project. Okay, the first, uh, the, the project is about the, I just read through the title, the, uh, the design modeling, duration and optimization of efficiency and cost effective intensive care network in Hong Kong. And our focus on the long-term ICU capacity planning based on the FH low in a ICU 
cluster. Okay. Another, uh, the second project is about more general. Is a design, and uh, modeling, evasion, and optimization of uh, intensive care networks in metropolitan city. We focus on long-term ICU capacity planning based on average load in multi-cluster ICU network. For example, uh, we, uh, we study the entire seven cluster Hong Kong ICU network okay, in, in this project. And also the third, uh, the third project uh, we just uh, recently uh, got uh, funded is about uh, resource planning and network engineering for better epidemic preparation of ICU network in uh, metropolitan uh, city. Okay, so and we will investigate the long-term capacity planning for a robust uh, epidemic uh, resistance ICU network with a uh, with explicit focus on isolation what and bad need. Okay, so and here is uh, one of our pending uh, project is about uh, healthcare policy design and uh, at, uh, at uh, the adaptive control framework for near real time epidemic response. So in this project, we propose a new adaptive control framework for forming healthcare policy during an epidemic with focus, with particular focus on intensive care. We will develop new uh, uh, queuing theory based healthcare system models and you uh, perform a duration method for Hong Kong uh, ICU network. We also will develop epidemic um, model uh, of infectious disease spreads. Okay, so so here we show you this uh, some of a recent paper in this area, or also some in progress. Also, give some give you some idea what we are going, what we are doing, and what we are going to do. Okay, so we have a paper. Uh, uh, the title is uh, "Overflow Loss Overflow um, Model for the Emission of uh, Intensive Care Patients." So we develop a queuing theory model of a ICU cluster. So we consider a different kind of patient. So we uh, successively actually developed the uh, an echo approximates, which is accurate and can predict the patient rejection rate of three class of ICU patient. So we demonstrate we can have a better performance and also do more efficiency than the existing proposals based uh, on uh, some uh, particular kind of uh, ICU network. So this is, uh, and also recently we, we, we uh, published paper about epidemic uh, development is uh, like the modeling the uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, using a SEIHR model with uh, human immigration. So and uh, it's published in the RGBSS. So we use the compartmental model for COVID-19 uh, case load prediction. Okay, so we catch the, with this simple model, we predict the number of cases uh, happen uh, quite uh, accurate uh, for different uh, city and yes, like uh, Hong Kong and uh, like Italy uh, and so, okay. So we further actually use this model and put the stochastic nature in, into and, and also this, uh, uh, the paper uh, uh, is accept, uh, was accepted by nonlinear dynamic uh, with impact factor of four point something. And this is uh, actually quite good uh, journal. So, and we have some proof, uh, some view theoretical result, and and this is the co uh, uh, work with uh, uh, as I mentioned, it's a uh, uh, one Chan actually is working with this uh, with us recently in, in our recent paper, and also Professor Van Wick uh, from South Africa, so he's working with us. Okay, so it's like if you join us, you can work with me and also with our colleagues and also this collaborator. And by the way, the first paper we worked with the, uh, the medical doctor, this is the, this the medical doctor and, and okay. So you know, these two actually is medical doctor and also 
uh, our call this Professor Sukerman. Okay, so okay, so and this sets so you some idea. So what we are uh, like uh, on the, the the paper. So we have the data, for example, with Hong Kong COVID nineteen data last year. We try to use the model uh, to fit uh, to the actual data and turn out to be quite good. And this is important because when we do the planning or operation of the ICU uh, network system, we know we need to know that this uh, the the pandemic like like infection uh, case such that is uh, that provide a, a, a accurate input a payload to our ICU system such that we can analyze the the impact to our ICU system. Okay, such that we can maybe make a good uh, policy uh, for, for saving more life. Okay, so this is actually what we're doing. So this is uh, some paper is ongoing. Okay, so and we try to construct uh, some uh, terrific model for patient arrival and also patient name of state. So we use the simulation and also an echo approximation for patient rejection way. So we try to extend this to a ICU network as a plan. Yeah. Okay, so, and here's probably what we have currently. So for the future idea or some pending project, actually we, because the pandemic or especially COVID-19 seem to be with us for quite a long time, five years or 10 years. So we, we continue work on the, the COVID-19 and actually is uh, the how our uh, healthcare system respond to the COVID-19. If this is to become a, a normal, okay. So, and we, this is some idea. For example, we uh, observe there are some so called a tipping point. Okay, if the demand exceeds some tipping point, like situation in Italy or uh, before. So, if we overload the, the the healthcare system, they will be have a a large number of people will die. So we we need to analyze. This the pitting point, make sure the system is under control, is under the tipping point, so we can save as uh, many uh, life as possible. So we use the control policy and we study the stability, we study what we can do in the uh, healthcare system, like in terms of we can increase temporarily the ICU bed, or we can also like we have too many um, COVID-19 patient, maybe we delay some uh, not so urgent uh, elect the elective uh, surgery patient. So, so this is what we can do. And we actually propose some uh, policy making framework based on the control theory. We want to maximize the, the total benefit baby based on the policy applied. So this is the, the control loop we can apply it. Okay, so, and also this is more generic picture for a little bit long-term control, which is involved some public policy. This is external input and also the healthcare policy, which we call the, the control input. Okay, so we will fit and in, into the core, which is include some epidemic uh, modeling and also ICU no, uh, network modeling. So we need, uh, need to learn a lot of parameter and have modeling, have feedback control, then actually give the administrator, uh, the government an uh, informed decision. So what they can do, okay, whether they need to tighten the social uh, restriction or we can relax a little bit. So this is really actually uh, will really be important and meaningful like direction we are going to do, okay. So, okay, thank you. So here again, uh, here is my email address. And here is my uh, WeChat uh, QR code. So you can sc uh, scan it and talk to me through WeChat also. Okay, so is there any question you want to ask? So since no more uh, further questions, I have one question. So yes. Eric, do you have any plan to recruit students next year? Yes, I plan to recruit a talent, uh, that talented student. Yeah, yes, and yes. And so, what's your expectation for the students? 
I think the expectation that, of course, they need to work hard, but the most important thing is like uh, Professor Nelson Chan says, is the interest. You really uh -huh. interested thing here to want to save people as many as you can, not just public paper. You want to really, yeah, the heart to really want to save people. We really want to work with a medical doctor and maybe listen to them, what is the lead and also give him some suggestion, discuss with it, and also work with the college, a different kind of college as uh, some expert like me, like uh, Queuing Fury, uh, like Sotastic Model and some other is the complex network and the pandemic modeling. Okay, work with us, learn as much as you can. And this is important skill and also apply it to the real problem. Okay, this is what I, I am looking for. Enjoy the, the research and also pre, then we will be productive. Yeah. <laughs>